Hey, hey, math people. Inverse trig integrals are a little confusing, so there are some recommended shortcuts for these. Here they are right now. Um, if you memorize these shortcuts, great. Uh, that's going to be really helpful. And if you don't, it's also okay. I'll show you how to do uh, these integrals without the need for memorizing. So uh, let's get to it. Let's do the first one. Uh, so number one, we're dealing with the integral of 5x to the fourth over uh, square root of 1 minus x to the tenth dx. And right off the bat, it's tempting to say that looks nothing like uh, an arc sine, uh, an arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent, whatever it may be. Uh, it, it, it appears to sort of take on the form, but not really, because you typically want a 1 up top in your numerator, and uh, it, sometimes if it's a number, it's not a big deal. You can pluck it out, put it on the outside of the integral, but that's next to the fourth, and that's not right. Um, okay, well, it is. This is still going to end up being an inverse trig uh, solution. However, you have to be a little creative here. So uh, the way are we, we are going to be creative is to sit and stare, think about what this is closest represented to. Um, so, you know, think about your uh, trig uh, derivatives, which of these appear to be the derivative of, of which of the six uh, inverse trig functions. Let's sit and think. Well, I have uh, an over square root of, uh, of a difference, so your mind should be going to sine and cosine immediately. Uh, if it didn't have the square root, it would go to tangent and cotangent. And if it had an x sitting up front, you, it, would, it should go to secant and cosecant. Uh, so uh, let's try to operate this underneath the uh, understanding that this is an arc sine. Uh, if we were to do that, I wanted this to be an x square, but unfortunately it's not. So, hmm, how can I make this an x square while also simultaneously getting rid of this 5x to the fourth up top, so you've got to be really creative here. Um, I'm going to give you time to think as I get a different marker. i got to be creative. So let's rewrite this as the integral of 5x to the fourth over the square root of 1 minus. Uh, I want to make this a square somehow. So how can I make this a square? Uh, because that, that's how the um, formula goes. Uh, how can I make this a square? Well, without changing too much, how can I get a 10 out of some power of x times 2? Well, if this was x to the 5th. Uh, these are equivalent expressions. x to the 5th, then to the 2nd, is x to the 10th. And now it's starting to take on that form of the derivative of arc sine a little bit more. Uh, so, continuing this process, I see an x to the 5th, and I see a 5x to the 4th, and it should be ultra tempting to do a u substitution here. I can make my u. Uh, x to the fifth, making a du dx of 5x to the fourth, uh, bringing you to a dx of du over 5x to the fourth. Let's plug these things in. Uh, now, oh, don't forget your dx. All right. So plugging in my u for x to the fifth, we can do that. So it's going to be 1 minus u squared. So my u, I'll just do in uh, blue. Uh, and then also dx is equal to du over 5x to the fourth. So uh, I'll do that in blue as well. So it's going to be du over 5x to the fourth. And very quickly, you see the cancellation of these 5x to the fourths, right? We uh, note that we now have a 1 up in the numerator when we convert to u world here. So it'll be 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du, uh, and that is arc sine. So I now have arc sine of u plus c. And what was arc sine? Or sorry, what was u? Well, it was x to the fifth. So this brings you to arc sine of x to the fifth plus c. So yeah, what is this really doing? Uh, this is a very n niche video. Uh, anytime you see like an over square root, or over x times square root, or over even just something that could 
possibly represent or resemble the form of the derivative of arctangent, you should be a little suspicious of that, and perhaps that's what you're dealing with. So, uh, the moment you start integrating fractions is the moment things get a little bit crazy, uh, because there's just so many different ways you can approach them, and this is just uh, one of many tactics. Dealing with number two here, I have the integral of 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 4 dx, and it's really um, nice to know the shortcuts here. If you knew the shortcuts I flashed at the beginning, this problem is a 20 second problem, probably less than that, uh, 10 second problem, and you don't have to do too much thinking. However, that is uh, not the case if you don't remember the formulas and you have to be a little creative. This should resemble arc secant, the derivative of arc secant. Uh, so, I'll write this expression on the inside. So, the only issue is this 4. So, uh, that's really uh, tight in there, right? It's, it's like you're trying to clean something out and it's just in a really hard to reach place. If it was just a 4 sitting up here, that's very accessible. You just bring it up front. Uh, even if it's sitting here, it's not too bad to bring it up front. Point being, this 4 is really in there. we got to be really creative in how we pluck it out. So let's do exactly that. Uh, I need to get that 4 out of here. How do I extract this 4? Saving private 4. Uh, we want to start by uh, factoring it out of this binomial down below. So if I factor out a 4 here, uh, I'm going to end up getting a 4. Uh, times the uh, x squared over 4, uh, and then minus 1, which is what we want. We wanted this to be a 1. Uh, so, continuing this, we can think about this further. The square root of 4 is just 2. And now I have a 2 plucked out down in the denominator. And I want to write this in a different way. I want to write this as x over 2, all squared, minus 1, dx. Uh, now lastly, I have this 2 down in the denominator. That's just a half. I can pluck this out as uh, a value sitting in front of my integral. So it's 1 over x times the square root of x over 2 squared minus 1. And I did it. I, I saved private 4. He's out of the out of the fight. However, I have another problem I have to deal with. I have this x over 2 squared instead of just x, so what the heck do I do here? It's really close to looking like an arc secant if this was just, say, a u. A u substitution is what we should do. If I make my u x over 2, uh, because I know it's going to take on a secant, uh, then my choice of u is going to help me out here. du dx is going to equal to a half. So um, what is dx going to equal to here? dx will equal to 2 du. Uh, let's see how this helps me. Let's plug some things in here. Mm, I want to continue this over here. And this will be my u sub box. So I have 1 half times the integral of 1 over x times the square root of, okay, now I have my u for uh, x over 2, and I'm squaring that, and I'm then now subtracting off this 1, that didn't change either, uh, and my dx this time around is equal to uh, 2 du, so I'll write that in blue. So this x is kind of a problem down here. I can actually use this expression to my advantage. I can solve for x in this expression and get that x is equal to, uh, it's supposed to be an equal, is equal to 2u, and that will help me remove all the x's from this problem. So sometimes you have to be creative uh, with your u sub as well. I think I made an earlier video where I said, Oh, well, u-subs are pretty straightforward. I think they are relative to biparts, but um, because there's not too many tricks to u-sub, but this is one of them. This is actually a great u-sub problem in itself because you have to uh, have a, cr a creative choice of u to solve this out uh, in a non-conventional way. Uh, but anyway, th we, we, we did here is we used this relationship between u and x, and that allowed me to rewrite this uh, x down below as 2u, and actually what's nice is that these two uh, 2's cancel, so I get that this is equal to 
uh, one half the integral of one over u times the square root of u squared minus one du. Uh, there it is, that's secant. So this is going to be one half, uh, or arc secant, right? Arc secant of uh, u plus c. Finishing off the problem by plugging my u back in, I get one half arc secant of x over 2 plus c. So shortcut would have been really nice here. Uh, we could have just straight up jumped to the final answer. But I understand that you have a lot to memorize, so this is how you do it otherwise. Uh, I'm going to ask you to continue to math on. I will do the same. I'll see you in the next video.